gang, this is Yanni, and you guys are inside the fisherman's belly, and I'm out here picnicking at Huntington Beach. And today, because we're picnicking, we're gonna make hot dogs. But not just any hot dogs, we're making blue fin tuna hot dogs. And not just ordinary hot dogs with ordinary condiments like mustard and ketchup and onions. No, we're gonna make our own mayonnaise. It's called aioli. We're gonna make a lemon zest aioli. And on top of that, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make chimichurri. It's a super duper sauce right out of Argentina that's used all over Latin America, typically on beef. But today, we're gonna put our chimichurri right on fish. So, I've got my barbecue going. I've got my ingredients to make the aioli and the chimichurri. Let's get going. I think the first thing we're gonna do is work on our aioli. So here we go. We're gonna crack an egg. We're gonna separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Here we go, I just used my hands for that. Opa, and now the egg yolk goes into our bowl. Okay, let's grab the second one. Crack, separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Here we go. Uh, All right, there we go, and here goes the egg yolk. All right, so there's a special technique that we gotta use to create the mayonnaise. The first thing we're gonna do is start breaking up these egg yolks. There we go. Now this process is gonna take maybe four or five minutes, so you gotta be patient, but believe me, it's worth it. Okay, now they're broken up, and we're gonna start drizzling very, very slowly olive oil. little at a time otherwise this won't form it'll break apart and it's hard to describe what breaking apart means but once you see it you'll know it I'm just drizzling in olive oil very very slowly all right fellas it's been about three or four minutes and it's pretty intensive labor however it's thickening up quite a bit look at this now there is no certain amount of oil that you have to pour in here. You just have to look for consistency. I'm gonna pour just a little more oil in here. Wow, okay. Well now it's time to season this up and to add the juice of a lemon and lemon zest. Perfect, take a look at that. Take a look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna zest the lemon. Perfect, perfect, take a look at that, okay. Now we're gonna add the juice of a lemon, or a half lemon. Touch of salt. And some black pepper. Okay, so I've got three egg yolks in there, a half a lemon, some salt, pepper, and some lemon zest. Okay, it's time to taste it. I'm looking for sourness from the lemon. It's there, and I'm looking for salt. Well, it just needs a tad more salt. It's one of the keys to cooking. You always want to taste as you go. All right. All right, time to put this in the bowl. And there it is, our homemade mayonnaise. Wow, the French would be proud. Once you put this in the refrigerator, it'll firm up and you're gonna have some excellent mayonnaise. You can put all kinds of ingredients in your homemade mayonnaise. You can put garlic, you can put herbs, you can put hot sauce. Believe me, once you get into making homemade mayonnaise, you're gonna love yourself because everyone will love you. And you'll never buy crappy mayonnaise in the store ever again. It's time to start making our chimichurri because our coals are almost done and we're getting closer and closer to finishing up these bluefin hot dogs. All right, gang, here are the ingredients for the chimichurri. I've got green onions. I've got flat leaf parsley. I've got a half a lemon. Remember this half lemon? I've got two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna use some red wine vinegar. You can use white vinegar. But there's all kinds of variations to chimichurri, but I'm gonna use red wine vinegar. 
and I'm going to combine it with extra virgin olive oil one to one and a little bit of salt and pepper and this is how we're going to make our chimichurri. Pay attention. Here we go. I love picnic tables, don't you? We can start off with the juice of a half lemon. And I'm going to add some red wine vinegar. So I'm going to end up with a total of a quarter of a cup of, of acid, which is lemon and vinegar together. There we go. That's a quarter of a cup. I'm going to add another quarter of a cup of olive oil, but not now because I need to add the salt, the pepper, the garlic, everything else, and let that disperse in the vinegar and the oil uh, in the vinegar and the lemon and then add my oil so the first thing I'm going to do is crush up my garlic Opa. <laughs> I love crushing garlic take the skin off alright there's our garlic pinch of salt pinch of pepper. Let's chop up our green onions. I've got two stalks of green onions here. All right, there's our green onions. All right, time for the flat leaf parsley. Probably about two tablespoons of flat leaf parsley. Remember, I just have the vinegar and the lemon in there so far. Salt and pepper, garlic, parsley, and green onions. And now it's time to add the olive oil. So we're looking for about a half a cup total, a quarter of a cup of vinegar and lemon and a quarter of a cup of olive oil to give us about a half a cup of chimichurri. Take a look at that. That's the chimichurri right there. All right. All right, so the coals are ready. I've got the tuna already cut up. They look exactly like big fat Polish hot dogs. I'm gonna lather them up with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and that's it. And just gonna roll them and sear them probably about 30 seconds on each side because I want a medium rare. We're going to toast up my buns on the coals, put our homemade mayonnaise, our aioli, and our homemade chimichurri and start chowing down because I'll tell you what, this fisherman's belly is starving. All right, so I've got my tuna. Time to add a little bit of olive oil so they won't stick to the grill. Some salt pepper. These guys are ready for the grill. Here we go. Okay, you guys, it's only 30 seconds on every side. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Bluefin tuna hot dogs, fellas. You're not gonna find these at Carl's Jr. or Derwiner Schnitzel, I'll tell you that. All right, let's put the buns on here and let's keep going. Bun number one, bun number two, and bun number three. Uno, dos, tres. This is amazing. I've had the aioli, the mayonnaise, in the cooler, so it firmed up. Take a look, take a look. Just like that, wow, I can't wait. And here's our chimichurri. Oh my God, <laughs> bluefin hot dogs and buns. My favorite, favorite part is final assembly, and this is just moments away from eating. Okay, let's go with the chimichurri. Look at that, oh my God, and a little bit of this aioli.
There you go, fellas. What do you think? I'm telling you, that's straight for your belly. Bluefin tuna hot dogs, lemon zest aioli, and chimichurri. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. These are so insane. Mmm. The tanginess of the chimichurri, believe me, you're gonna make every Argentinian jealous. The lemon zest aioli, unbelievably uh, tart and tasty and creamy, unbelievable. And the tuna, oh, I mean, you want to go in the gourmet hot dog business, fellas? Bluefin tuna hot dogs. I'm telling you, wow. Get ready to blow some people away. Go out and catch a bluefin tuna and make these hot dogs at the picnic table. Make everybody you know really happy. This is Yanni, Fisherman's Belly. See you later.